you there. I'm glad you came back for your makeup consultation. How are you doing? It's been a very long time indeed. Yes, it has, my friend. Well, I'm glad you're back. And you did say over the phone that you wanted a more thorough makeup consultation. Mm -hmm. So in this bag, I've brought more things that I would be need to use. from the previous person I just did their face on and this is the daily brush cleaner you see how much <laughs> powder comes out it's not fun is it unless you like being powdered on Just going to give each one a spray or two, and that'll clean the brush. itself uh, smells amazing.
Freddy. Freddy. Okay. You do have a little bit of makeup on, don't you? That's okay. I'm going to be using these makeup remover cleansing cloths for that. tingly, doesn't it? It should refresh your face quite nicely. Uh-huh. Okay. Put that aside. And I have this sheet here that I'm going to be putting wrapped around your neck so I don't get powders on your beautiful clothing. this poreless face primer and this is a little bit of a pinkish bottle but it doesn't come out pink let's see it looks kind of like wrinkle cream it's this white substance and I'm going to use this foundation brush to apply the primer today. So I'm going to start painting your face with this one by one. Okay. All right. And not that you have enormous pores like me, but this is just so it creates a nice relaxed base the face so that the makeup can be set nice and evenly all throughout heavy-duty concealer and I'm going to use this on the main parts of your face that need heavier concealing such as typically the cheeks right. and you've probably seen this before this is just some basic drugstore brand Let's see what brush I need. There we go. 
It looks like this. It's just a little creamy base texture and due to our prior consultation uh, this matches your skin color so I made sure to uh, go off of that and remember that so that I could put a better color this time around and I'm just going along This can really get to looking quite thick, and that's the last thing I want today. So, I like to put a little bit on the upper lip and chin just for the purpose of um, concealing further sometimes. I mean, even if you don't have full out hair, um, some people can get some peach fuzz and this can do a good job of concealing that. Now that I've applied it on your face, I literally just pat it down. You never want to smudge it, you just want to pat the concealer. Instances, it's all right to smudge, but not in this case. Okay, let's see what else I need. This HD lifting concealer. to dot them. A triangle formation under there. And then I like to go above the eyebrows. On the eyelids. Below the brows. And this somewhat works as a eyeshadow primer because of how long it stays wet it can just act as a base for that and keep it stuck on there so I'm going to use this concealer brush again and just this time line them off and smudge them Under the eyebrows, the eyelids, the crease, another eyelid, brow, crease, under the eye. And I like to really blend this all together. And when I blend the HD Lifting Concealer with the Glamouflage from the cheek, it looks really nice. And you will just absolutely glow. Where is this? Okay. I'm going to use this high definition powder. And when I open it, uh, you might not want to breathe because this can be very intense. When you open it, the powders are very uh, thin, so uh, it creates a dust very easily. So, I'm going to use this Total Face Brush. It's still kind of dusty, but it's clean. And this Total Face Brush is great for powders all over the larger parts of the face, such as the cheeks, 
and the neck in the forehead. So I'm going to be applying the powder there first with this brush. just to sort of set the tone here and I don't need to use too much as this is a very bright powder it won't make sense to cake your face with it okay now for the smaller portions of your face I'm going to use the smaller powder brush. So. I'm going to go in the crease of the eyes, the nose, the upper lip, and the chin here, and just the heart. even and covered nicely. I'm going to get this fan brush and this fan brush is good for under the eyes to remove that excess powder. So. Beautiful. Going to get the pressed mineral bronzer. Grab my bronzing brush, which is angled as you can see. And as I open this, just get some of the powders together. And I like to go on the temples the cheeks up here, on the cheekbones, your jaw down here, and your neck a little bit. So I'm going to be doing that now. Just go up the temples here. For those who have a fuller face, this is really excellent for that as it really creates that contour for you and helps you in, in that sense. For those who don't have natural, I suppose you can say natural structure to their together. Take some time. I like to go quite fast with this. And this bronze this uh, bronzer will remove most of the HD powders that I've put on your face. It does a really good job of that. So it really creates a difference between color on your face and this is where the saturation blush palette and open it up and I have a mirror 
hello. <laughs> and I have um, four colors here. The colors are pink, bronze, shimmery pink, and hot pink. I will let you decide what to choose. Go with your gut. Okay, I'll give you that. Oh, <laughs> that's a myth. You don't have to pucker your face. I got it. time, but you don't have to today. <laughs> That's alright. I didn't know either before I was in MUA. Okay. And um, no matter what, I like to put this color uh, blush down here where I don't normally blend anything as it looks very bare and pale. Um, so I'm going to blend a little bit of is very handy for the eyebrows. If you don't fix your eyebrows, you are not going to look good. So I'm going to do that now. Grab this little brush that comes in it. Blend in the dark green in this kit. Get a little closer here. Brush in brows real good from head to tail okay. this is the base of the brow most crucial part. And then I get the brown powder and set the gel so it dries up and stays in place and adds a bit of color and definition. Okay. colors in this one to choose from. So, as I open it up, there is a brush inside which is so small and useless. So I'm going to use my own eyeshadow brush for this one, which is this. Instinct. Which color do you choose? You want this one? Okay. I can certainly do that. close your eyes now. Yes, you have to cooperate for this part so I can get your eyelids real good in the crease. I don't know if you're used to this. Sorry, 
if it feels a little bit ticklish to you. <laughs> okay. And I like to blend at least two colors. So I'm going to blend another color on the outside crease. Which color would you like me to blend? And I'll give you a hint, try to choose a darker color for this one. I'll let instinct decide. What would work good with orange? Yeah, I think this one and this one could work well. strange but we're almost done here actually the eyeliner part will feel strange <laughs> so you haven't seen anything Perfect. Okay. All right, this next part, I'm going to use this Color Stay Black Liner, and I think it's called Color Stay because you have to stay real still if you want the full color on your eyes. So. This might get a little confusing. I have to use this eyeliner brush because this is too risky. This is not guaranteed to get a perfect line. So what I like to do is shake it up. So all the eyeliner is coated smoothly on the brush. I think that's good enough. Pull it out and then I literally just coat the eyeliner brush with the ink that comes out of this. Let's put it back so it doesn't dry. And then I carefully line your upper lid. Yeah, you can close your eyes again, please. That would be great. Thank you. And I just brush it. It's so simple because it's a straight brush, so it just as long as you brush close to the crease as possible of your eyelashes, it'll create that straight eyeliner effect and a kind of smoky look when you put on the eyeshadow. It, it really creates a nice dim look. And I like to go on the bottom eye line to sunder it as well. Not as much there because I want the intense look to be on the top. This you always want to seal very good because it'll dry up faster than Lindsay Lohan's career. Okay, I'm gonna go on the bottom now. <laughs> I'm not saying that.
the Mineral Infused Mascara. coating the top and bottom pretty evenly. Maybe that's just me. I like going along the deep creases in this part of the eye as much as possible as well. There's a lot to make up, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot to cover. It's crazy stuff, isn't it? Okay, where is it? Ah, here it is. Lip Injection Extreme. And I'm going to be using this. up and look really dark pink. So I'll just give that a minute and while that's soaking up, I'm going to explain the lip stain. This is the lip stain with the gloss and we're not going to be using the gloss since we just gave you a lip injection. So um, this color of pink I will be applying on your lips let me dab that now. Is it staying real nice? Yeah. I'm going to coat the top and bottom evenly as I can. I get even matching color. And this will really make the rest of your makeup pop. And I'm going to use this lip defining brush. It has quite a good pointy tip at the end. And just blend it all together. And I even try to go a little bit outside the line to create that Kylie Jenner look, as most of you, some of you young people say. <laughs> okay. Alright. So that will create the essence of lipstick. And I'm going to grab face brush and I like to do this at the very end just as a sort of a nice massage and because it feels really good on the face. So this soft brush which I will be using now is to blend the rest of your makeup together and create a nice even finish before the end. The thing is it will not go over your eyeshadow and your lips. If you'd like to you can uh, keep your lips shut and open your eyes because if you close them I guess the powders can lay on them so kind of just look at me in shock like there we go but I'm a professional so I'm not going to get any on any areas I don't need to so don't you concern yourself Doesn't that feel nice, huh? Yeah. The soft bristles really, really feel good. I like to do circular motions. That's the best blending mechanism for any makeup routine. last portion. I'm going to use this illuminating mist and set and I was close to putting a brush cleaner on your face. 
always they look the same you have to be careful <laughs> so this I will spray from afar will just really nicely set your face together and make your makeup glow like crazy and you will really love how smooth it feels and your makeup will last on your face for several hours so until the rest of the day pretty much you'll be really satisfied with this you may even wake up uh, with makeup on your face if you like to go to sleep with makeup it's really good it's worked really nice on me and I've had a lot of clients tell me how good it works on them okay let's give it a go I like to do a test spray first so just to make sure it works nice all right I'm gonna spray for I like that. 